October. Uh, this is my first one for the year, and uh, this summer I did some research and stuff on things called AI, artificial intelligence, and uh, I've got a cool little tool here that might actually help to save you some time. It's called Magic School AI. I also researched another one called EduAid AI, um, but I seem to like this one a bit better. What it is is an artificial intelligence that creates things for you. So when you first log in, you can use a tool filter, or you can come down here and choose the things that you want. So for example, I chose video question generator, uh, conceptual generator, space lab generator, uh, teacher joke generator, for those who know me, it's a horrible tool for me to own, lesson plan generator, text rewriter. So there's a whole bunch of story, story problem, uh, math story problems, a whole bunch of tools that I wanted right now for myself. And for the rest, I will leave those up for you to be able to take a look at. The one I wanted to show you today that blew my mind was a lesson plan generator. So with the lesson plan generator, you're able to choose which grade. I teach a fifth grade and you can talk about what you're talking about. Maybe you're talking about weather with, um, let's say, water cycle. Now, you choose which country or Alberta standards, um, Saskatchewan standards, all depending on where you are. And then you click generate. And as you see over here, my right hand side, I'm getting objectives. I'm getting how to do the assessment. I'm getting key points to cover, how to open it, how to introduce any material and what things I need to have some guided practice with the kids, some independent stuff they do, how to close the activity, any extensions, activities, even if you want homework, and it will actually take from the Alberta curriculum the objectives that you need. And then you can also choose a shortened version if you want to. Uh, I haven't tried the, ch uh, the translate or summarize um, or the Ask Rena, but I can summarize it into less points if I wanted to, summarize it into 10 points in order to get a shorter version, in order to stick up in a classroom. So all of these things are available to you with this AI. I'm gonna be starting to implement this myself. My suggestion though is if you use this, uh, definitely read through to make sure everything is okay. Um, you're gonna to need to find your own materials, any slideshows, any of those things. Now, the other one that I'm using um, is uh, Curapod. Curapod. When you log into it like this, you have your library or you can create your own lessons or discover what someone else has. These are some that I've created myself, okay, by clicking in through here. And you can choose to purify your own slides if you have any already in Google or you have any PowerPoints. They have activities such as brain breaks, discussion questions, personalized feedback. And what it does is it makes your slide shows two ways. So the kids are not just looking at slides from the back of the classroom. They're actually interacting with the slides. I'm going to show you one that I have here so that you can see it. So I'm just going to go into a science one and I'm going to go into uh, climate. And let's take a look at um, right here, tools used to measure weather. So starting at the beginning, I'm just going to do a present for you. And this is what the kids will see. Once I click, and you're able to share this with the class in three different ways, one with the website, one with the pin, and then one with the QR code for screening. And then you start the activity. Now, as they fill this in, you're getting the data information so that you can share this with them, but it will not tell their names unless you want to see their names later, for example. So as you go through each one of these, there are some things like notes, concepts, and then it's asking questions and you get feedback from a whole class, almost like you're using one of these Google clicker and things to do all of these objects and feedback from who it is that is answering the question. I'm going to show you one of the ones that I've done in my classroom to give you an idea. So while I'm looking through the data in this, 
Okay, while I look through the data in this, click on the view results, it gives me a day, and I can see how many respondents. What's the difference? I can see the cloud if I want to that they created. I can go into each activity and see how the answers were. You can either show real names right here or their nicknames that show up. Okay onto the board. Another thing here, here are their answers to this question. So it's sort of a quick review that you can do either at the end of class or at the beginning of class to see if students have an understanding. So between the two of these together, uh, you have some a quick way to be able to cut back in your planning time and at the same time make your work more interactive.